Welcome back. I hope that last reading was of resonation with you. If not, we're going to clarify these cards in a different way. So part two begins now. And this is just my ear. My earphones stopped working last night. Usually I'll, um, like I'll screen the video one last time before it airs um, and just make sure that I describe the cards to you quite well. And I put them in and they just completely stopped. But it's billboard. So there you go. It's made by billboard. Uh, we're going to get started with just vibing. I grabbed the energy Oracle. This is the book that called to me today. So I'm going to go back to reading some excerpts from very, very famous oracles for you guys. We're going to have a really fun day with a lot of content. So hopefully you don't get bored today. I mean, you probably won't, but we're going to check all the decks. Uh, we're going to look at Oracle. We're going to see what speaks to you. They might not all be your messages, but we are going to shuffle and do things appropriately. That way it gets to you on a normal level. It's Ari. Welcome back to the channel. So it's what's weird is my bookmark became this card for the second part here. And we do everything in the morning so these cards could change right throughout the day. Um, we have unexpected connection. That spoke to me because I just grabbed like a random oracle card to do the bookmarking, to be the bookmark. So it says opposites attract. Hey, Libra Aries. No, just kidding. Um, but that's unexpected connection. And, you know, my bookmark is even a sign for me. Uh, that's just the type of person I've always been. Every little thing is a synchronicity since childhood. So we begin with 22. And this is going to be a second part of your love reading. The first one was just a birthday entrance into what we're going to be doing today 22 you could be seeing a lot of 222 or you're seeing the twos right in any form whether it's your watch your cell phone uh it could be apps that you use and you're seeing a lot of these numbers again it's a twin so i'm going to show it there it's going to focus because i have auto focus now on the camera thank god <laughs> and let's go for it it says yin and yang of course that's masculine and feminine passive active intuitive and logical is what it reads. When you see this card, and I don't have the card with me today, I was just drawn to this page. It says this card represents energetic life cycles, and its purpose is to help you identify the particular cyclic energy moving into or out of your experience. Libra Lunar Eclipse. In its upright positive uh, position, it heralds the yin cycle, where most of the action seems to be happening under the surface of things. That's the feminine side, right? This is a time of great receptivity, opportunity, your intuition is on high, and gestation. So just marinate on that. For That's a lot of information to take in. External circumstances may be forcing you right now to go within and examine present activities happening in your life, how it's making you feel, how the cosmic effects are affecting you and grounding within you. It's an especially good time for completions, so now's a good time to wrap things up. And it says yin cycles often call you to be passive, to yield, right? Like when you're driving, yield, especially in a roundabout, hello, and reflective. So up, open up to these sides of your nature. Being, and they capitalized being, so being in the moment, right? Means acting instead of impulse and having intention here. I also read during the lunar Libra eclipse, not only is it Mercury retrograde during that time, that there's a lot going on planetarily, people will be coming back, right? So your intention as a person, it says here, will be the focus. And the reason why I was drawn to read this is I feel like this speaks to the lunar eclipse right now, like our actions, how intuition is playing into that too. It says um, the affirmation that goes with this thing is, I am open to understanding the cycle I am in and I'm willing to utilize its energy beneficially for myself. All that I need is already a part of me, which you already are born with the answers deep, deep within you. That's the affirmation, and I'm gonna write it underneath this video so that you guys can continue to say it through the lunar Libra eclipse. I think it's a beautiful affirmation too. It's steady, uh, it's a part of yin and yang, and it just balances you completely. We are the sign of diplomacy and keeping things balanced too. So I'm going to show you my reference cards today. We're going to begin part two with reference. I only have three. I have the Hierophant, which is the owl. Your wisdom could be called into effect today for you to make all synchronicities matter, right? 
the owl is also a part of your intuition and he's teaching this girl in the hierophant card taurus could be really significant to you or you have a taurus moon right it's in your feelings if you don't have taurus in your birth chart it's okay this card can still speak to you today it's about commitments it's also a marriage card some of you could be wanting marriage is what i hear as i touch my reference card and he's teaching this little girl who's her in her inner child. She's also learning each and every day. Um, she could be picking up esoterics about twin flames, divine masculines. She could be learning about all the interesting things with zodiacs and astrology. And this owl is trying to communicate effectively how not to self-deceive herself, okay? To learn and pick up, but also learn the fascinating things of how that grounds her. That's why they're on a tree. So he's teaching her, and I think that's beautiful. That might speak to you guys in an ancestor sense or that's someone older than you um, or very spiritual, like a guru. So the Hierophant is your main card for today. It was one of the reference points before I started your last reading with the owl, teaching the little girl. And then we have the five of coins. This was the weirdest tarot card I got today because it speaks of loss, change, we could be moving our ships away from this pentacles card. And it's, you know, this is a less intense five of pentacles. All it's showing you here is that you can either spend this again somewhere, even if it was once lost. What I got as a download is it was returned to your pants. It was returned to your wallet, the five of coins. So you have a new way of uh, delegating these coins. It's not so much of a loss as you thought. Hierophant to the five of pentacles. Also, if you go back and rewind your previous reading, the Hierophant wasn't there, but the Five of Pentacles was in the story. So maybe connect with it on that level too, because there could be a message for you. And we have the Wheel of Fortune, the ruby red dress. Let's dissect the card in part two a little bit more. The mechanics of moving on, fate and destiny is pushing this person, masculine or feminine, to be more balanced, because we read uh, yin and yang out of the book. Okay, and it comes from the energy oracle. That's where I took it from. So she's learning to balance now with both masculine and feminine parts. She can be strong and brute. And then there's another side of very sensitive, uh, very markered in feminine intuition too. So I feel like this person is progressing. We're going to find out what she's up to. Clarifying cards are the five of wands. We're going to look at this from your last reading and the emperor. Okay, let's see what the relationships are today. What am I being called to use? Let's go with the romance fairies first. I'm going to do a shuffle. And I pan down so you guys see, can see the brown on the table today. A little bit clearer, but all right. Let's go for the emperor first. Emperor's feelings, please and thank you. And good morning to you too. This is probably hitting you guys in the afternoon. Most Libra light viewers are in the Midwest and Texas is what, uh, when you look up the statistics, that's what you see, it kind of shows you the region. Let's go for the emperor. What's the emperor's feelings, please? Current emperor feelings, that's Aries. Burning desire is the first card. That's a lot of physical touch. She's wearing white, which is purity and cleansing. If you look like her garb could have been any color, could have been yellow, green. We have a Gaston and Bell card. We're gonna save that for the last. We have burning desire, flames of passion ignite. This person can't hold back anymore, okay? Initially from that card. Um, in the pink, it says desire, which I don't know if we've been talking about this the last few weeks, but somebody feels very connected to your spirit. They see something like in you. There could be competition more with you these days. And open your heart. We have uh, Barbie and Ken <laughs> type of deal. He could be in the movie Barbie and Ken, if you guys have ever watched it, Oscar nominated Barbie. Um, he speaks of taking over the feminine side of things. Uh, I don't know if that's a spoiler alert. If you watch the movie Barbie, Ken actually takes over at some point. And I think they call it Kendom or something like that. To be kingdom, it becomes Kendom or something. And it says, love is the highest energy of all, let it in. So your angels are asking you to not be guarded, not be in the nine of wands, not be in the seven of wands and be welcoming towards something coming in. And honestly, it happened so funny with the dance of the lunar eclipse. That could be a message for you. 
Okay, so opening up the heart chakra. Um, I don't think it's so much new people trying to change your environment. I think it's about opening your heart for the next incoming events to be in your life. So it's like preparation. Open your heart. And we'll discuss that more in later readings today. Love language affirmations is the bell and it's kind of giving me Beauty and the Beast vibes. Uh, we had a day like that this week on the channel where I mentioned in your Akashic story, there could be elements with that particular tale. And I know Beauty and the Beast was a novel first, so you might want to read the novel. It says, loving words hold great power. It's about communication, someone speaking up who normally doesn't speak up. Uh, if there is a hider in your situation, they come out of hiding, okay? The love language is an affirmation. And what's weird is we read an affirmation just here and now. The lunar eclipse is going to bring about a lot of physical things, and it's also going to be about what people think. In your first few oracle, we check the bottom of the deck. There's also an interaction here from the medieval times. It says twin flame recognition. This could have been a twin flame story. And I'm going to read the bottom for you. You know this soul that mirrors your own. There could be also a lot of mirroring going on. And we clean up. We're going to clarify the emperor. So that's what he's feeling is twin flame recognition. He also sees that his affirmation must come to you. And that's the message for your person. I think it's an emperor and I'm going to stand by it. That's what we have so far today. Let's see what drops for the five of wands. Please and thank you. Five of wands. We're going to see what the messages are. Justice. Wow, 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 wow. I can't pick it up because my nails are so, so short. Justice is in the first spot. I'm going to tell you what I think about that. Again, Aries, Libra. You can't even make it up, you guys. Like, even on the channel when you shuffle so much, it just shocks me. The sinistries, relationships, zodiac relationships, too, that show up. We have Libra and Aries here. You could be connecting to another Libra or someone with fair and just cause. Or something's balancing with this person. Someone who's coming in as an emperor. And by the way, they can be any sign. They can be any of the 12. They don't have to have that particular zodiac. So they want to balance things out, get honest with you, get clear. Uh, next card is the Wheel of Fortune. Lots of majors so far. Your two of them on the table, look at them, Major Arcana, okay? Um, I see here that someone wants to change a dynamic with you. Also, like, the Justice card means setting it right next to changing it, okay? Because this is also change of events, if you've ever looked up the card. The Wheel of Fortune is not always included with clarity, though. There's just a change of events that's occurring. So we have that. Let's get three more cards out for your mini reading here. Page of Cups. It was the ending to the last reading, which was uh, the one where they can't play chess with you, <laughs> is what I called it. Uh, somebody wants to bring in an apology for the way they've behaved, for the way they've acted. Page of Cups. It's an apology card. From the beginning of time, it always has been, but it's also an emotional response, okay? Now, I don't know if they act like a page or you could be dating somebody younger than yourself, but they come in with this youthful energy. Pages are all youthful and they're all younger too. Um, let's look at the fourth spot, the Empress, okay? Someone's very much attracted to you. Also, it's a spiritual card for me lately, uh, Taurus and Libra energy. I feel like the focus is the future with the Empress and she's only taking, she's packing lightly into the future is what I see here. She's not taking everything in the house. She's only bringing what's necessary, okay? This apology might not even be necessary <laughs> from the past. So let's see here what's going on in the last position. A lot of you guys are um, commenting live right now. That's so weird that I've been able to see them lately. Usually after the video posts, I won't even see your comments until way later in the day. They're starting to come in like live almost is how I would say it. Last one is the emperor. And I don't know why this morning I got really emotional. I think because two years on the channel has been really like hard to do every day, uh, especially when you got kids and you have things that you need to do. So I wanted to say happy birthday to you guys because uh, it's just, it's really special. This was a passion project that was born 
from just having a desire for tarot um, and it healed me in heartbreak and so this channel was built off of love and I can't believe now how fast it's grown so it just gets to me. Um, we have the Empress and we also have the Emperor. We end with a divine pair and oh my god I'm gonna stop being an idiot right now and we have a divine pair here beautiful we have a divine soul match coming in for you and it could very well be your soulmate. I'm going to go finish crying now because I got so emotional. I want to thank you guys for your time. This was so, so pretty. I do think that this reading, um, there's a divine match here at the end with the emperor and the empress. Oh my God, I got so emotional. Anyways, we have to post this one um, regardless, but I got really, really soft there like a Pillsbury Doughboy. I'll be back with your other videos.